So I've been living in Africa for the past four years, and I've had the privilege of opening up a few different businesses while I've been over here for these four years. I promise to give you tangible tips to help you properly transition successfully over here to Africa if that's what you plan to do. I plan to use my story and experiences as examples in order for me to help you prepare for your journey. So let's get to the point of why you clicked on this video. Let's go. All right. First things first. Listen, you have to make sure you plan this thing out. And I say plan because Africa has 54 different countries. And with 54 different countries, things are different across the board. What happens in East Africa is completely different from what happens in West Africa. You know what I'm saying? And even within the same East Africa or West African countries, neighboring countries have different things and guidelines and certain requirements in place that they require you to uphold yourself to in order to stay in their country successfully. So if you plan on going to a particular country, make sure that you look into that country's laws, look into that country's requirements so that when you get there, you have a full understanding of what you're getting yourself into. I've seen a lot of people just, you know, have this heart that, oh, it's time to go back to Africa. We it's, it's, it's time. It's home. It's time to go home. But they don't do the research and really think about what it takes to stay in that country. Yeah, there are some countries that offer citizenship when you get there. Yeah, there are some countries that offer dual citizenship and some don't even offer dual citizenship. So you have to know what you get in yourself and your family into. So it's very important that you plan and think about this thing fully and don't just react off emotions and feel like, hey, I'm going to go to Africa and it's going to get figured out because that's not how it goes. You have to write this thing out and make it plain and know which way you're going to go and go in that direction. You can't just do this by happenstance. So please make sure you plan this thing out before you get started on your journey. And within that planning, please make sure you plan to budget. Like you have to budget and really be strategic with what you do with your funds. Because I've seen people like if you decide to come over here and still live like you're in America and continue to spend with those same spending habits and you don't have anything coming in, your money will dry up very fast. Trust me. Trust me. So you got to make sure you're living within your means and budgeting properly as you come over here. You can't come over here and I like to say get caught up in vacation mode. A lot of people when they come here and they escape what we've been living in and feel this freedom and get a taste of this. They, they end up in a vacation mode type mindset where they don't get back to work and they don't do what they need to do in order to stay here successfully. So, you know, it's important that you budget properly and live up to that budget. So when you move and you begin to operate here within the country, you don't, you know, put yourself in a financial situation that you can't get yourself out of. But. In all seriousness, if you're thinking about coming over here and you want specific help for your specific situation, I offer one hour consultations where I will sit on the phone with you for one hour to answer all the questions that you have in order to help you make a smooth transition over here for your family. So if you're thinking about coming over here and need a little help on figuring things out and figuring out which way to go, click the link in the description box and you'll book a time and we'll sit down and get the help, get you all the help you need so that I can help you out. So, hey, if you need that, click the link in the description box and I got you. Since we're here, got to show y'all some of the products real quick. This is nacho body Natural body. Yeah. Natural products. Natural body. Yeah. Natural body. Yeah. Yeah. Come closer. Come. My next point is this. You have to avoid the low level thinkers, the gossipers, the petty people and the complainers. Like if you avoid those type of people, your transition will be smooth and you'll be able to successfully land over here. There were times in the beginning of my journey when I was around people who literally will suck the life out of you with their negativity like we are coming to a place that is underdeveloped in some areas that need a little help so if you come over here you have to have that mindset and know like hey 
There are going to be some times where things are not going to be up to the standard that I'm used to. And you have to be okay with that. If you come over here to complain and whine about every situation that is bad, like you're going to have a bad time. And you need to stay away from people who decide to complain about everything that they encounter. Like, yes, the service is not good in some cases. If you have a problem with it, volunteer your time to teach them, to help them, because that's not even something that a lot of these restaurants think about. They don't care about service. They don't care about making sure that the customer experience is a certain way. So you have to have that at the back of your or the fore or wherever you want to have that in your mind to understand, like, this is a different environment. This is something different that you're getting yourself into. So don't get yourself upset and stress yourself out about things like that. So if someone is being negative, someone is complaining and are not coming up with solutions, avoid those individuals so that you can have the right mindset to stay here long term. And in terms of pettiness, petty people are all around. Petty people are here. Petty people are trying to pull you off your destiny and petty people will try to gossip with you in order to keep your spirit down and negative. So if there's petty people who are trying to gossip about what's going on, gossip about someone's life or just be in someone's business and not work on anything, please trust me when I say this. Steer clear of those individuals. By us coming up in America and being in that society and environment, we are prone to gravitate towards the negativity. We love it. We need it. We thrive off of it as a people because we've been conditioned to be that way. But when you get here, you have to break that conditioning. You have to really do the work and do the necessary things so that you, when you get here, you don't go back into what you were conditioned to do. So when you encounter petty individuals that's gossiping, run away. When you encounter petty individuals that's trying to do things that you know are low level, run away and get away from them. And that'll help you stay here long term, even though you may feel like, oh, this is my brother. We made we both made it from America. No, make that person prove themselves for a few years, few months, few weeks. Show themselves. Don't just run with people and, you know, um, form a negative community. Because that will pull you down and hold you and pull you away from your destiny, believe it or not. I've seen a lot of people come over here with great ideas, great, you know, great initiatives and great things that they wanted to do. But when they got with the wrong people, it slowly died out and they slowly ended up leaving this place. So make sure that you stay away from petty individuals before they suck you dry and use that negativity to pull you off your destiny. Trust me. And my next point. You have to think in terms of a producer. You have to think in terms of someone that's going to be producing in this world. You can't come over here with the consumer mindset thinking that you're going to continue to take, take, take and not add to society or not add to the world. So you have to come over here and think like, OK, when you see a problem, you have to always think about the solution to that problem. Produce something that's going to be a solution to the world. You got to train your mind to be different. We've been trained to think as a consumer. We've been trained to think as people who just take all the time and and um, just live within that reality. But now this is an opportunity for you to produce something, to create something, to really, really build something. So you got to force yourself to think differently in this environment in order for you to stay here long term and be able to take advantage of what actually comes when you come over here. And with thinking in terms of producer, I want to add another you know, point to this kind of. You got to focus. You got to focus for the long term. You got to focus for the end goal. You got to focus on why you came here. You can't get sidetracked when it gets hard because those hardships actually teach you and actually help you to level up. When things get difficult, when things get tough, that's not the time to run away and go back to where we came from or skip and go to another country. No, you have to focus and remember why you came and remember the vision that you set out for yourself and your family so that you can reach that goal what we want to do what we want to accomplish is not something that can happen in a year it's not something that can happen in a few months it's going to take time it's going to take diligence it's going to take execution it's going to take patience and it's going to take a different level of focus for you to build that empire that you want to build we're trying to do something that we've never done and many of us have never seen this. So when we encounter these things, we have to know like, OK, this is teaching me and getting me ready for the next level. So many times I've been through hardship, 
I've been through moments where I know people would have folded. I know people would have quit. But that's just not something that's in my in my nature. That's not in my heart because I'm focused. I set out on this journey four years ago and I'm doing everything I set out to do piece by piece, little by little, because I'm focused. When I reach hard moments, when I reach tough moments, I have my moments where I have to, you know, sit down and, and lick my wounds and heal my wounds and figure out where I went wrong. But I always get back up and keep going because it takes a different level of focus. So if you want to come here, if there's something that you want to do, be focused and it'll come. Stay away from the negative people and the gossipers. Make sure you have a plan and execute it. Budget. Get you a consultation if you need it. But in all seriousness, all jokes aside, man, plan this thing out. Be focused. Trust the process. And stay away from the wrong type of people. We all know the wrong type of people. We can feel them. We know. But just stay true to that and you'll be good. And you'll be able to successfully stay over here and transition. Now that we're on the subject, if you're actually seriously thinking about coming over here and you want to invest in the country, join us on September 8th for our Investors Roundtable. The purpose of this event is to help pave the way for the return of the diaspora and build generational wealth and safety through investments in agriculture, land, real estate, and tourism in East Africa, Tanzania. We also will be discussing tangible pathways for you to stay in the country long term. It's time for us to unite and turn our dollars into assets while we still can. If you are interested, be sure to join us because we do not know when we'll be able to open this up again. So the link to register will be in the description box and also at the bottom of the screen. If you're thinking about investing and trying to come over here, it's very important that you strategically put your money in the right places and do things in order for it to grow. So if you're trying to do that, we have an avenue for you to join us. Make sure you click the link in the description box and join us on September 8th so you can figure out what you need to do so that you can stay over here long term and make the right investments. We'll see you there. And lastly, if you're thinking about coming over here, I've created a free document with 14 of the most important things you need to know before you make this transition. This is a list of a lot of the different things that I've went through and I've experienced and the pain and suffering that I've went through have influenced me to be able to create a list in order to help those who decide to come after me. So if you're thinking about coming over here and you want to figure out the free game, I got a free document that I've created for you. Just click the link in the description box to get your free document and we got you. And if you made it to the end of the video, thank you for the love. Thank you for the support and thank you for your attention. I don't take it for granted that you set to the end of this video. I hope I was able to bring you some value so that you can learn what you need to do in order to come over here to Africa successfully. So also, like I mentioned in the earlier in the video, if you're thinking about coming over here, I offer one hour consultations for those who are interested. I will sit on the phone with you for one whole hour and answer all the questions that you have in order to help you make a smooth transition when you come over here. So if you're trying to come over here for your family, you're trying to put things in place and get set up properly, click the link in the description and we'll schedule the time so that we can sit down and discuss how that we can help you out. And also, if you're trying to get your healing done from the inside out, my wife offers all natural consultations. She can help you heal from anything you've been dealing with, any negative ailment that you feel like you can't overcome. My wife has the knowledge to be able to help you overcome that. She will sit on the phone with you and figure out exactly what you're dealing with and how to help you overcome that. So if you're trying to get your healing done before you come over here to Africa, click the link in the description box so that my wife can help you out and give you the natural way in order to help yourself out so hey listen guys if you're thinking about coming over here to africa you can do it you can make it happen it's possible but just listen to what i said take notes from what i just gave you and make sure you practice it and put it into play so that when you do make this decision and start making these strides it's easier for you and you don't quit on yourself and quit on your family so hey if you made it to the end of the video, your mindset is serious about coming over here. And I hope it, I hope it happens for you. I hope you figure it out. I hope you have a smooth transition. And I hope you reach the goals that you set out for yourself. But stay focused and don't let anybody pull you off your journey. Don't let them pull you off your path. And don't let anybody make you feel crazy for what you're doing. If you feel like God is pointing you somewhere, go in that direction. If somebody has something to say, and don't agree with that direction, they must supposed to stay right there and not keep going. 
if you keep going, the people that, that's going to be with you, they're going to come and find you. They're going to be with you. So just trust the process and trust the journey and be okay with being alone and do what you need to do. And you will be able to move over here successfully. All right. If you need some help, hit me up. Stay safe out there. Don't let these people stop you. Don't let these people make you feel crazy. And don't let these people pull you off your journey. Stay focused, man. Y'all keep the shalom. Peace. Thank you.